Welcome back to the lab, everyone. Shadow here. Today, I'm going to be going over how to upgrade vCenter 6.0 to vCenter 6.7. Let's get started. I'm going to start by showing you guys what version's installed. Let me see if I can get control panel opened up here. All right, doesn't want to search for it. Let me go ahead, and I'm actually just going to go back down and open up the start menu again. Just click on control panel. I'm going to show you guys the program. I want to just go over what version of vCenter is actually installed here. And if you notice, I just installed it a day ago. 526-2018, version 6.0. Now that we've got that verified, let's go ahead and I'm gonna mount my VMware vCenter 6.7 ISO by double clicking, or you can right click and actually click mount. That'll bring it up in Windows Explorer. Once it's up in Windows Explorer, we can go ahead and double click our auto run. Auto run's gonna bring up the vCenter installer for Windows. Once there, we're gonna go ahead and leave it on its default and selection and go ahead and click install. The install process will take some time. It's gonna you know, extract some things and look at some things and it's pretty interesting. It'll actually go through and look for any previous installations and if you notice, it's already extracting the upgrade scripts. It noticed that there was a, a previous installation that was a lower version of it and it is actually gonna go ahead and grab that and start looking and grabbing all the scripts that it needs to extract them to upgrade our 6.0 up to 6.7. Now this does take some time to actually process. Just go ahead and let it do its thing. It all depends on the performance of your machine. You know, if you're using a VM, a physical, what's its CPU, what's its RAM, but just kind of let it do its thing. Don't worry about it. it. Worry about it, you know, if it takes longer than, you know, five minutes. As you notice, it didn't take me that long here. Now, on this next page, it's gonna bring up and it's actually confirming here, do we wanna upgrade from 6.0 to 6.7? Yes, so click next. Next page, in user license agreements, pretty straightforward, accept and click next. Now this next page here, we need to type in the administrator at vSphere.local for our vCenter 6.0 install. This is for the previous install and the new install is gonna use the same one, but this is so that way the upgrade scripts and such can actually access and you know, run what they need to and be able to actually upgrade. And if you notice right here, as soon as I click next, it starts running the uh, pre-grade up, pre-upgrade check. So it's actually going through, it's gonna manage everything and kind of look at everything and make sure everything can actually be upgraded, that there's no prerequisites or anything else that needs to be looked at before it can actually process its upgrade. Now, this does take some time. I'd say anywhere from two to three minutes for it to actually process its pre-grade checks. This is a great time whenever you're doing this to go ahead and just verify that you've got a backup of your VM or your vCenter server, sorry, that it's actually backed up because one of the things that's going to ask you here and you're going to have to check on later on is that yes, it is backed up because it's actually a checkbox in this wizard. So make sure during this time while it's kind of pre-checking everything that we've got a backup now, in my dev environment, I don't have a backup of this machine, but in a production environment, you want to back up your vCenter. And that includes even if you have a, you know, SQL Express database or SQL in there, grab that, make a backup of it, move it somewhere else. Make sure you use whatever you're using, Veeam, Rapid Recovery, uh, Symantec, whatever kind of, you know, Windows backup tool, whatever you're using, make sure you take a backup. The last thing you want is to try to upgrade, and we've had this happen in production environments where it upgrades, gets broken about halfway through the middle, and then it just crashes, and we have to go through and start manually removing things because we didn't take a backup or things didn't upgrade properly. It's been a mess. So I cannot stress enough how much a backup is a big deal when upgrading your vCenter server. So please check your backups. Make sure everything's good to go. Make sure there's no current alarms. Make sure there's no DRS is going on or anything kind of crazy. You don't have any you know, HA failovers going on. That's not a good time to actually upgrade your vCenter server. Like I was saying, taking some time to actually scan and do all the pre-upgrade checks, that's perfectly fine. I'd rather the system take its time, verify everything is good to go, and make sure that we're actually good instead of it bombing out middle through, which I've had plenty of times upgrading from 5.5 to 6.0. I've had plenty of machines, even from 6.0 to 6.5. It just, the update finishes, everything goes through, and then try to open it, and something actually wasn't installed correctly or a register key wasn't done correctly, and I ended up having to blow away the whole thing and rebuild a vCenter because one, we didn't have a backup, or two, we can't get the backup to mount right, or three, it's just easier just to blow everything away and just restart from scratch than it is to actually try to mount the backup and get all that working. So it all just depends. 
Hopefully here in the next about 30 seconds, this will finish up and then we can go ahead and move on to the next part of this tutorial. I do apologize, this video is kind of long today. There'll be some music in it, so I'd say for about eight minutes here soon, that's just gonna be kind of watching the whole process. I did speed it up by about 550% for y'all. So that way you're not just stuck watching a one hour video of vCenter slowly installing itself. It took it a while yesterday to get it all done. All right, look, there we go. Now it's gonna come over to this page where it's gonna ask us to configure our ports. It's just gonna verify everything from the previous installation. On this next part, I like to bring over all the historical data I can. That, that way, whenever you need to go back and look at it, it's all there, even on your new system. The next page, destination directory. Let's leave it all, you know, default. Go ahead and click next. Next, you could choose whether or not to join. I'm gonna actually join the VMware customer. And the last and last but not least, like I was saying earlier, there's that vCenter backup saying, hey, did you take one? We're gonna go ahead and check that because you cannot click upgrade until you check that. Once you have, go ahead and click upgrade. From here, it's gonna start the process. And like I said, I'm gonna let some music play and let you all have some fun.
All right, now that that's done, it comes up with a pop-up towards the end telling you about TLS and some of the older versions and older systems actually can't use the proper TLS that vCenter 6.7 wants to use. So if you want to, you can go ahead and follow what they're saying here that's going to allow you to use the older versions of TLS so you can let older systems connect in. I'm using server 2016. I'm not going to worry about it too much here, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK and let it go onward and let it finish up its last few things. All right, now that we're done, go ahead and launch the VMware vCenter client. Web, sorry, the vCenter web vSphere client. Now, I noticed that whenever I click that launch button, anytime I get done installing 6.7, it always wants to run the Flash player. Now, unless you have Chrome, you know, you're going to have to download Flash. So I'm just going to use the uh, HTML5 version, and you can do that by actually typing in UI at the end up here and you'll notice I do it up here and boom we'll actually get switched over to the HTML5 version. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in with administrator at vSphere.local and this is actually going to take some time to log in. This is the first initial login. I'd say the initial login can take anywhere from you know 15 seconds sometimes all the way up to three to four minutes. I'm, I'm not really sure what the timing issue is. I've watched a lot of different things in Task Manager. I've seen it where I just sit here for two minutes and nothing happens and there's no processes going on or any of that and then boom everything just kind of clicks and it kicks. So I, I'm really not sure if it's just 6.7 if they haven't just fully optimized it yet. I do know that the flash in Chrome seems to be very responsive on login and works very great but I just I don't like the feel of flash. I don't like the way it looks personally. I'm really enjoying the uh, HTML5 side of it. it, it just looks and feels like vSphere. It, it feels like the fat client. I mean, I know it's not the fat client, but it, it really does feel like the fat client, and that actually is probably why I'm really enjoying it. Now, I've had a lot of issues with vSphere, uh, vCenter 6.7, not going to lie. I, I don't know if they're self-inflicted for myself with managing data stores or exactly what the issue is, but I've had quite a few issues with 6.7 and I have reported them. I'm trying to keep them up to date. That's the main reason that I actually run the newest version of VMware, so that way I can keep them up to date on what I'm finding. If there's any little gotchas or little, what the, you know, I can go tell, hey, VMware, this is what I found. I know I'm only running, you know, trials and evaluations, but that's why I do that is I constantly like to just trial and reevaluate and send them as many errors as I can find. I try to do things that are outside the norm, kind of weird. I like to run local storage and iSCSI sometimes on the same system just to kind of see how vCenter likes it, especially when you've got another cluster that's full iSCSI. So it's, it's very interesting to watch vCenter kind of throw a fit over some, some things. And as you can tell, it's kind of trying to throw a fit right now as we're trying to log in. It's still spinning, but I, I'm going to say here probably the next 30 to 40 seconds we should be logged in. Just bear with me here in the system as it's first login. But once we get logged in, I'll kind of show you guys around and we'll kind of scroll down. I'll show you guys the version that we upgraded to now and be able to verify that, hey, we are on 6.7 from 6.0. And basically, that's all it is to run an upgrade vCenter. Boom, look, looks like we're logging in finally. Took it its sweet time. All right, there we go. There's vCenter 6.7. Everything's kind of loading up. This is the web GUI, guys. This is what it looks like. I think it's fantastic. I really do like what they've done with it. I just wish the speed was a little bit faster. But I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here in just a second to show you guys that we are on vCenter 6.7. We scroll on down here. There's our version. There's our build. And there we are. That's all it takes to upgrade vCenter 6.0 to vCenter 6.7. You can use this same tutorial here to upgrade 5.0 to 6.0 and 6.0 to 6.5. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys learned something. I know I always do. And until next time, I'll see you in the lab.